Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan. Glucose-lowering pharmacotherapy effective in patients with type 2 diabetes and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. In individuals with diabetes, atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease is more extensive and less amenable to treatment and often associated with worse outcomes compared with the general population. Now, findings in the JAMA network open suggest that multifaceted interventions are needed to overcome the large gaps in pharmacotherapy use among the increasing population of patients at high risk of developing adverse outcomes. LGBTQA plus pregnancy complications Transgender people are equally at risks of health despite not getting equal attention. This community people usually face severe disorders compared to the general population. Now, members of the LGBTQA plus community who give birth present to have a greater risk of hypertensive disorders of pregnancy and postpartum hemorrhage according to a new research that is presented at the annual meeting sponsored by the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine. The study stated and it rather concluded that birthing patients in likely sexually and gender minority partnerships experienced disparities in clinical outcomes. COVID-19 and stroke interlinked risk factor in older people. A recent study in Neurology Journal provides evidence that severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 infection is associated with an increased risk of acute ischemic stroke, especially in the first three days after diagnosis in patients over 65 years of age. Promising skin probiotic could be a way to reduce antibiotic treatments for acne. Scientists are investigating an alternative approach for treating acne that is using probiotics to alter the collection of bacteria and other microorganisms residing on the skin. Although the microbial ecosystem or the microbiome as we call it on the skin may perpetuate acne causing inflammation, this ecosystem has proven difficult to alter. A new research published in Cell Reports Medicine shows that specially selected strains of lactobacilli both shift the skin microbiome in a positive manner and also reduce the acne lesions. Exposure to marijuana in pregnancy tied with adverse neonatal outcomes. According to a recent study published in the JAMA Network Open, exposure to marijuana in pregnancy is linked with the occurrence of adverse neonatal outcomes and this study further found that there was a significant increase in the risk of adverse neonatal outcomes. Hence, awareness definitely needs to be created among women regarding the use of marijuana during their pregnancy period. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.